Welcome to this episode of Behind the Words TV, Chapter 1. Today we are talking with Dar Geiger, the author of Reignite Your Joy. And Dar, good to see you again. Thank you, Paul. Pleasure to be here. Hey, uh, Dar, we've talked about how joy is so important in this day and age with so much going on. Uh, tell us, I, I mean, it, with all the things going on, the war, the endless, the disease, the plague, the divorce and death, all those things, how do we find joy? I mean, isn't this kind of like a, like a treasure hunt almost? Yes, it is a college treasure hunt. Thank you for uh, mentioning that word. Um, after I found sobriety in my life and had Christ in my heart, my life began to change. And I learned about the tools. It's a treasure. Yeah. The tools are in, this, in the, the Bible. It's scripture, and it led me to a lot of new ways of asking for help, by prayer, choosing to trust God through faith, which gives me courage, then learning to take action and to do something, anything. Uh, also learn how to laugh at myself right, okay. and laugh with other people. It's so healthy for our body and our mind and our, our uh, well-being. Soul, yeah. and and it, you were looking for joy, as the song goes, in all the wrong places before that, though. Right. Tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, oh my goodness, <laughs> trying to trying to find a, a fulfillment and a, a significance prior to uh, receiving Christ was a, a, a challenge, a big challenge. Um, it didn't work. What, I always ended up coming out feeling what empty. Alleys, what pathways did you take through, to, to, through to find alcohol, fulfillment? Through alcohol, okay. abusing alcohol, okay. uh, shopping thinking okay. that anything, any of those things were going to fill me up. Smoking, addictions, to, so, to fulfill my desires, my cravings, and nothing ever worked. Yeah, how long worked. did you live this lifestyle? I mean, the women out there who are maybe in some of these similar situations, you probably want to hear the, the gory details. I mean, how, how long did you seek fulfillment with some of these other avenues? Yeah, probably about a decade. Wow, T mm -hmm. 10 years almost, mm -hmm. wow. And then uh, just, was it the cancer that that was your turning point? No, no, it wasn't. It was just coming to the end of myself and my marriage was at risk. Okay. It was at very high risk and I just cried out to the Lord and asked him to help me and change my life. Okay, yes, and, uh, and speaking of marriage, I mean, you're, it's not only the, the demons of addictions that you fought, um, you, you also uh, have outlived two soulmates. Yes. Now, yes. again, mm. it, uh, the reason I bring up all these negative things is because you are a, a, a pillar of joy. You're a, you're a, a, a poster child of joy, I think, <laughs> because if anybody could be give it up, it would be you based on mm. your story. Tell us about the loss of love over your life. Well, my wonderful soulmate, my husband, we were childhood sweethearts, wow. and uh, we were married for 45 years. 45 years. And knew each other for 53 years, and <laughs> so we served the Lord in the last 20 years of our marriage, and then um, he had a major heart attack. I gave him our uh, respiration, tried to bring him back to, and he came to, and was in rehab for about eight weeks, and then God, it was God's time to take him home, and so, wow. <laughs> Well, then, in, wow, in, I mean, I, I, I know several people who've experienced the sudden loss of their spouse, sudden. and and that's just especially wretching because it's just you're just. I mean, you were at dinner, weren't you? <laughs> well, yes, we were getting ready to go for dinner, and okay. then um, Chuck had such a great sense of humor, and he slumped over the table, and I thought he was playing with me, <laughs> and no, he wasn't. Wasn't funny. Well, he wasn't. No. He had a major heart attack, and so. Uh, it still chokes me up after 15 years. Yeah, um, well, but, yeah, I'm sorry. But we had the Lord in our lives, so we were soulmates in Christ. So, um, you know, I just had nothing but gratitude for the years that God blessed me with in our marriage. And um, Well, yeah, and, and I mean, you use joy to get through that. I mean, when I, when I talk to the people who've lost their spouse suddenly, Oftentimes there's an anger and unfairness, like, why God? Why'd you do this? Or why did this happen to me? Or why did that person leave on me like that? And, and how did you reconcile the anger with the joy? Well, anger is part of grief. And uh, I went through uh, grief share sessions twice to work through all of my processing of, of the loss. 
So, and it's um, still with you, of course. It's, it's still always with part me. of you. Yeah. Right. But Grief Share really helped me to work through all of the um, memories, the loss, the anger, the mm -hmm. confusion, the depression, the acceptance going in and out of those phases. Sure. So that helped me work it through. Well, yeah. Okay. And um, addiction, loss of husband, and, and then tell us about the illness part. I mean, uh, on your treasure hunt and roadmap here, I with mean, the, the cancer, the cancer. And, and the calling. Mm -hmm. Well, when I uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer, I said, okay, God, four years after my husband passed, all right, I'm going to choose to trust you. So I was telling my sister, I am going to have fun going through this <laughs> with the Lord. Fun. I'm going to trust the Lord. <laughs> and so I said, I'm changing my name from Dar Geiger to Dar Fun Geiger. <laughs> there you go. Wow. That's so. Positive attitude. Yeah. So going to the doctor's office and visits and that sort of thing, my daughter and I would, my daughter would come with me and we'd bring funny looking sunglasses <laughs> or we'd tell jokes and wow. just to make it a more uh, pleasant experience. So that's how I got started. And, I, and God gave me a scripture in, in uh, pro, um, Psalm 34, verse 4, where it says, I cried out to God. He heard my cry and delivered me from all my fear. Wow. Okay. So the scripture was very powerful and, and on that uh, radiation table is when you got your calling and got your inspiration yeah. to to write your book yeah. you know? and so that's fantastic uh, let's wrap it up how how is this like how has this been like a treasure hunt for you continuously searching for being aware of god's blessings and looking for the god stories listening for them uh, there's so much that the Lord is doing around us through in and through people and listening to other people talk and praying for them. Uh, gratitude, learning how to be grateful, laughing. Laughter is, again, like a medicine, the Bible says. Yes, yes, yes. Well, that's, it, 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 it truly is a treasure at the end. Yes. And I love the word you use, hunt, because it's a journey, isn't it? it? Is it's a, a process. Yeah. Dar Geiger, reignite your joy. Dar, thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you, Paul. My pleasure.